So as you all know already, the Warriors have just traded Klay Thompson last night, and I think that this is the smartest move that the Warriors could have done. They not only freed up a lot of cap space, hence why the trade even happened since Klay wanted more money, but they also freed up a roster spot for a potential star. It was a sign-in trade that involved three teams, the full details have just came out as of the recording of this video, and it involved the Warriors getting two picks, uh, Dallas Mavericks getting Klay obviously, and then the Hornets got Josh Green from Dallas. As for the Mavericks, they already had to get rid of Derrick Jones Jr. who was making a whopping $2 million last year, which is crazy because he was a starter in the finals. I wonder if that's the lowest amount of money that someone's ever made as a starter in the finals. But he was obviously due for a big payday after that, and he signed with the Clippers. I'll definitely be making a new Clippers video tonight, so stay tuned for that. But for the Warriors, they need a secondary score bad. I mean, even if they have to trade for it, I would go for either Zach Levine or DeMar DeRozan. Uh, Steph has shown that he won the championship two years ago. He doesn't really need so crazy 30 points, 25 points per game score to win. However, losing Clay and Andrew Wiggins most likely in the same offseason, someone's going to have to take those shots. And out of Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan, uh, Levine would obviously be the ideal fit because he just fits the Warriors game better and he can shoot and score at will. But the age of the second star does not matter, obviously. We only have about one or two years left of Steph Curry being a top 10 player, so the Warriors are a definition of a win-now team, man. They do have young players as in Kaminga and Pozemski, but we need a superstar. And they are obviously trying their hardest to land a superstar. They offered the Clippers a huge haul for Paul George, and George ultimately ended up going to Philly. As I'm sure you know by now, I think that it was just the fact that the Clippers didn't want to send Paul George to another Western Conference team, which is totally understandable. Happened a million times in the past, but let's just say it doesn't work out for the Warriors and they can't get a star though. I would either target Malik Monk, who in my opinion should have been sixth man of the year, or I would sign Sadiq Bey. I'm 100% confident that the Warriors front office has some plans, especially after they just signed another scoring threat that can space the floor and DeAnthony Melton. Moving on to the Dallas Mavericks though, I think that this is a huge move if Clay locks in. He's obviously going to be a starter, I don't know why a lot of people are saying that he's going to come off the bench, but he, he's going to replace uh, Derek Jones Jr.'s starting spot, and Luka finding him when he slips off ball will definitely be a sight to see. Uh, he just has to find himself first. I'm not sure if the Maver this will make the Mavericks better as a team though, since they did obviously get worse defensively, and it almost seems like the game plan right now would be the 2018 Rockets Dan Tony game plan, you know, just to outscore the opponent. But I'm excited to see where this goes, and I hope that we can get a Warriors Mavericks opening night or a Christmas game that would feed families for sure. As for the people thinking that Clay denied the Lakers and Warriors deals for less money, as a Californian myself, I'll be the first person to tell you that he's probably making more money over there due, due to the high taxes. I mean, he made, he made $50 million with that deal, so out of the $80 million that the Lakers offered him for four years, I promised like 30 would be gone anyways. The income tax for Texas is zero. As for the Warriors dynasty finally being over, it is kind of sad to see, man. I'm not, I'm not a Warriors fan by any means, uh, but these are the guys that I grew up watching, and even though I basically rooted against them every single finals, no one can deny that they weren't fun to watch. Anyways, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. I'm going to be doing two uploads a day from now on, so I got another post coming out tonight, so stay tuned for that. Peace out.